I was having a really hard time after my daughter was born. I was incredibly anxious and I was crying a lot. I didn't know if how I was going to get through the next minute, let alone the next day. Um, I was lucky enough that my husband had four weeks off from work, so he was home. And my parents actually came and basically moved in with us and were an incredible support team. But I didn't know how I was ever going to take care of my daughter by myself. Before we left the hospital, um, the uh, hospital had us do a depression screen. And then my husband actually, I think, put a reminder in his phone to repeat that screen um, a week after we got home from the hospital. And he scored it and was like, this, this isn't looking good. And so I called my healthcare provider and they said, unfortunately, we don't have any visits. Um, we're really booked up, we're really busy, we can't get you in any earlier. And I just broke down in tears. And I think that kind of set up a red flag. And she said, hey, let me have you talk to a nurse. And so the nurse did the depression screening as well and immediately referred me to a physician who I spoke with and diagnosed me with postpartum depression. She was able to prescribe me some medication, refer me to a community mental health center. And so I was able to seek treatment on both of those fronts. If you have the strength, if you can find um, the courage to share what you're going with, going through, um, I, I would challenge us to do that. Maybe you're experiencing your own symptoms of depression or anxiety due to the circumstances that you're facing right now. And I would encourage you to be empathetic to other members of your community and what they might be going through. Together, we can make it okay.